Hey guys, welcome to his channel. My name is Aditya and in today's vlog, we are going to talk about tuples in Python. So one of the things that concerns me is the way some tutorials explain tuples to people. What they usually state is that tuple is basically an immutable list of items that is surrounded by parentheses or round brackets. And there is nothing wrong in this, but what people usually take away from this is the parentheses are the ones that are actually creating the tuples or they are used to identify the tuples and that is not the case. And that is what I'm going to explain you guys in this tutorial with the help of this example here. So I have this variable called x which stores a tuple and if we print out the type class for this variable, it will print out as tuple which is which is obvious but now if I remove all the elements from this tuple except for the first one and then print out the type class for variable x it returns that x is now an integer even though it is surrounded by those parentheses. So this proves that the parentheses are not the ones that are used to actually create the tuple or identify a tuple. So again going to another example here let's create another variable called y with some elements in it and now if we try to print out the type class for this variable y and run this script basically y is now returned as a tuple by python or it belongs to the type class tuple so why is this actually that's because the definition of tuple is a list of items that is separated by commas and enclosed within parentheses and the parentheses here are optional though it is always a good habit to have them the parentheses are optional and they are not the ones that actually create a tuple. It's the commas that actually create the tuple and that's it. That is what a lot of people don't understand or take away from those tutorials. So again, going back to the previous example, if we just add a comma at the end of this first item and then run the same script here, you see that X is now also a tuple and that's one of the tricks to actually create a tuple with single element or single item. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here that it's the commas that create the tuples and the parentheses are optional and they are not the ones that actually create the tuple. So that's all for this video guys. If you liked my explanation, do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.